If you think that David Dobrik is the king of clickbait, I'm about to introduce you to the father of clickbait. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community, try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So before I get started, I just did my first ever giveaway over on Instagram and all I asked was a simple thing, a simple request. I said, Tag one of your friends who means a lot to you and say something about it. And we got 20 winners. That's right, I gave 20 copies away of my book, Rewire Your Anger. So on the screen right now, these are all the winners. So if your name is appearing right now, shoot me a DM at The Rewired Soul on Instagram, which you probably already know, and just email me or DM me your email address and I'll send you your copy of Rewire Your Anger. So for all of you who aren't following me on Instagram, make sure you go follow me because I'm gonna be doing a ton of giveaways with more books and merch and all sorts of cool stuff, all right? So first, let's talk, what is clickbait? Man, I can make an entire new video about this, but what is clickbait? In, in short, clickbait is a technique used in this digital age to invoke some kind of emotion in you to get you to click on something. Whether it's on a YouTube video or it's on an article, a blog post, a social media post, an advertisement, whatever it is. That in general is what clickbait is, all right? So David Dobrik, he has his whole brand called clickbait. And one of the things that David Dobrik likes to do is he, he makes his titles and his thumbnails in a certain way, right? So in every single thumbnail, there's typically something crazy happening. All of his titles, they're all caps. He'll include exclamation points. And then sometimes in like parentheses, he'll like put scary or surprise or oh my God or whatever it is, right? So that's one of the reasons why David Dobrik is Mr. Clickbait because he's trying to invoke some kind of emotion in you to get you to click on this. Well, clickbait is actually part of behavioral psychology which was thought up by this guy, this guy, John B. Watson, all right? So John B. Watson is one of the founders of behaviorism or like behavioral psychology and he um, expanded on some of the ideas of Pavlov. So those of you who don't know about Pavlov, he did famous experiences experiments with dogs when it comes to priming and conditioning. In short, a rough kind of idea what those experiments are. What they would do would, was they would pair a bell with food, okay? So whenever the dog heard the bell, they would get food. Hear the bell, get food. Hear the bell, get food. So then what Pavlov would do is that he would just ring the bell and then the dog would start salivating. And basically what we know now, now that we have all sorts of brain scans and everything like that is, once you've primed somebody for a certain um, reward, they will get little dopamine spurts, right? So the brain is anticipating that reward. So when they were started to ring the bell and the dog would salivate, basically the dog's brain and body was uh, getting ready for the food. Now, what John B. Watson hypothesized was, was that you could actually condition people based on their three primary emotions, all right? These three emotions are fear, rage, and love. So his hy uh, hypothesis was that he can get people to take certain actions if you could pair them with one of those three emotions, fear, love, or rage, right? So. He did a lot of work, a lot of studies. I'm gonna talk about one of his messed up studies in a minute. But anyways, he did a lot of studies and research and all of that. But eventually he ended up leaving um, Johns Hopkins and he went to become uh, a, a marketing executive up in New York. And first off, like throughout this video, I'm gonna talk about how John B. Watson was kind of a not cool guy, all right? So when he left, like he actually had an affair with like one of his assistants who he ended up leaving his wife for and then like marrying his assistant. But anyways, so he gets into the marketing world and basically what John wanted to do was he wanted to take this idea that, you know, conditioning people based on these three emotions, he could do that with advertising as well. So this was kind of the original clickbait. So when he started working with advertising agencies, he started to design like commercials or ads 
based on these three emotions. So for example, fear, right? So they needed to sell baby powder. So one of the ways that they sold baby powder was they wanted to make parents afraid. Like these are all the things that can happen to your child, to your precious baby, if you do not get our amazing baby powder. Right? So they started to see sales go up because they were playing into fears, okay? But another one is love. So John B. Watson was one of the first people that introduced the idea of celebrities endorsing products. Does that sound familiar with influencer marketing? And, and as always, you can use code James for 10% off your purchase. You guys can use code James for 10% off your purchase at morphebrushes.com. As always, you can use code James for 10% off your purchase at morphebrushes.com. And you can use code James for 10% off your purchase at morphebrushes.com. So what they started doing was you pair a celebrity that you love, right, with a product. And the more you start seeing this celebrity with this product, you start associating the two things. You start associating your emotions with those things. But what a lot of um, advertisers do today is that they're playing into your fears. Something that I've talked about many, 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 many times on my channel is how advertising plays into your fears. A lot of them are fears of being not good enough, right? Oh, if you don't buy this thing, you're not gonna be cool enough. You if you don't get this product, you're not gonna look good enough. If you don't do this, you're not gonna lose weight. Nobody's gonna like you unless you have this nice car, nice watch, nice thing, right? There is no advertisement on earth that's designed to make you feel better about yourself because why would you, why would you buy it? If an advertisement came to you and said, hey, you're perfect just the way that you are, everybody loves you, you're good. Why would you buy anything? So it's very important to be mindful of these things. I've made videos about this before with clickbait and all of that. Like when, when you're looking at thumbnails or titles or whatever it is, ask yourself, take a pause real quick and say, what emotion is coming up? Is it fear? Is it rage? Is it love? What is this? Is this, is this thumbnail and title? Is it playing into my confirmation bias? Or am I rushing in to defend an idea that I have? Why am I clicking on this thing? And you guys might as well practice being mindful on YouTube because advertisements are doing it to, it to you constantly. Every billboard you drive by, every advertisement you see on a bus station, even people with the clothes they wear. Not my clothes, this is just an awesome secret agent panda bear. All right, so like I said, this dude, this dude, John B. Watson, he was a messed up dude, all right? So one of the most famous experiments, and you can go Google this thing, is an experiment with uh, baby Albert, all right? So babies don't really have fears. They don't have many emotional responses. So a lot of, a lot of your responses um, are triggered by something that happened in the past, right? So babies typically don't have many, but this baby, baby Albert, he was afraid of loud noises. So what they did was they put this baby on a table and they put a rat on the table. And when they put the rat on the table, they played a loud bang. They like clanged like two metal rods together. Scared the bejesus out of this kid, right? And they kept doing it over and over and over again. What that did was it trained the baby to be afraid of the rat, right? But then, then it gets worse. So after that, after that, they started pairing this loud noise with hair, a rabbit, a dog, and even a Santa Claus mask. So this dude, just to like prove him, like prove what he thought was going to happen, they made this baby afraid of all sorts of things. And you think that's where it is? Do you think that's where it ends? No, it doesn't. Because what happened was that they just never did anything about it. John B. Watson never did anything. And that's why it's so controversial because a lot of people don't even know what happened to baby Albert. They just like let this baby grow up being whoever he is. And they trained this baby as a baby to be afraid of ridiculous things. Right? So nobody really knows what happened to baby Albert. So there's a bunch of like weird conspiracy theories out there about what happened to baby Albert. So Shane Dawson, if you're watching this video, maybe you need to add this to your list of conspiracy theories. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. All right, so, so some more of uh, John B. Watson's controversial uh, views is on parenting. So this guy, this guy, he, he thought that like loving your child too much was terrible for your child. He thought that if you showed your child, not like too much love and affection, but any love and affection, your child would grow up to not be able to cope with the real world. So he was highly against hugging and kissing your own child, and he said you should give him a handshake instead. So a lot of people are like, bro, what are you talking about? Not only that, but this guy, John B. Watson, actually had two sons who highly, 
highly condemned these views on parenting, and sadly, one of his sons eventually committed suicide. But anyways, yeah, uh, Tristan got me this really cool book. It's about psychology I, uh, for Christmas, and I came across that. I'm like, whoa, this dude was like the original clickbaiter. That's interesting. So, so many things in your life are like psychological. Like, I, I, I try to teach you guys that the apps that you're using, the things that you're buying, the food you're eating, so much of it is based on the way your brain works, the way your mind works, the way that your emotions work. So what I like to do on the channel is try to try to pull different things to try to teach you about these things because once you learn how your own mind works, you can start making better, healthier, smarter decisions. You know what I'm saying? If you like this video, if you like this style of video, I know a lot of you like my Stephen King video. If you like this, make sure you let me know down in the comments below because I would love to do more things like this. This way I'm not like bringing in like, you know, all the drama or tea or whatever, still trying to get you in, but implementing some more psychology. So if you like that, let me know down in the comments below. All right, but anyways, if you like this too, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell and a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you haven't yet, make sure you head over to Patreon and ask your questions for the monthly Q&A. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.